All right, because we are celebrating Scout Sunday today, I wanted you to get a look at all of these great people who are busy and active in Scouts. And uh, we have a couple of them that are going to be doing some readings for us and a presentation. But first, I would like everybody in the congregation that's ever been a part of scouting to stand up. I was a Girl Scout. Where are all our Scouts out here? Look at that. Yeah. All right. And now, keep standing if you earned the uh, Gold Award in Girl Scouting or the Eagle Scout Award in Boy Scouting. I need to sit down. Yeah, yeah. That, look at these folks, though. We've got several. Yeah. There's a, he's standing back there, too. George Asdale had hoped to be here, but he also was an Eagle Scout. So they, look at the impact that scouting has on us. So today we have two people we're recognizing for getting Eagle and Gold Scouts, uh, Gold Awards. But first, we're going to start by hearing the uh, Girl Scout Promise and then the Boy Scout Promise. On my honor, I will try to serve God in my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout law. Thank you. All right, and then we'll hand this down to you. On my honor, I'll do my best to do my duty to God my country, to help other people at all times, to keep myself phys physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. All right, so that was a Hayden. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> That was Hayden Scotty. He and his brother Griffin are um, Sandra Hatch's grandsons. Griffin just earned his uh, Eagle Award. And where is Abby Smith? Come on up here, Abby Smith. <laughs> Abigail Smith earned her Gold Award. So we'll have them read the laws for us. A scout is trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, Cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. Woohoo! Twelve of those he has to remember. <laughs> and the Girl Scout one's even longer. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, and responsible for what I say and do, and to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. Thank you. All right. So as I, uh, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> as I said, Griffin just got his Eagle Scout Award, so we want to hear a, just a brief word about what that project was. Uh, so to become an Eagle Scout, a big part of it is serving your community, and to, uh, a big part of becoming an Eagle Scout is doing a community service project. So what I chose to do for my community service project is I'm from Templeton and you know there's not a lot in Templeton it's a small town uh, but there's this one uh, historic sort of Greyhound bus stop that we had but it recently I think like couple like last year it got uh, run over uh, when a delivery truck was delivering hay and feed <laughs> so and uh, I was looking at the time for an Eagle project I'm like oh what am I gonna do and I was thinking and then I was contacted by the owner of Hay and Feed, and he said, hey, I heard you're looking for a Eagle Scout project to do, and I, wanted to, uh, I was wondering if you would be interested in doing this. And I'm like, wow, this is, this is really exciting, because um, it's such a, like, an iconic part of Templeton. Like, out of, like, besides the, uh, the feed elevator, I mean, that's, like, the only other thing. <laughs> <laughs> so I got to work on it, and it took probably, like, three weeks. It was months of planning, and it was lots of hard work. It was all in the summer, because, I mean, I had to just choose the hottest time of the year. <laughs> but, it, uh, but it was such a, like, an important, uh, I think, part, part for, me to, like, for me to do, and like, for the community, because it was like, such an important part for everybody, because you pass by it all the time. And like, without it, it just seemed like something was missing. All right, thank you, that's awesome. And Abigail Smith earned her gold award. Uh, earlier, we, pres we celebrated Justine, who had earned hers. They were together on our downstairs youth lounge project. So this is Abby's uh, official award, and we've got her pin right here, too. And Abby, can you tell us about your project? 
So like she said, Justine and I worked together on redoing the two youth rooms that are in the downstairs basement of that building. And you guys might have heard about it from her explaining up here before, but kind of my part in it was painting the walls. Um, we cleaned the carpet. We got new furniture thanks to a lot of donations from you guys. And we also put a door up in between the two rooms that opens up a lot bigger, so they're kind of more connected. Um, yeah, and just thank you to everyone that helped with it because we couldn't have done it without you guys. And I just want to reiterate, they gave us more room in the church the other night. There was no place for a meeting I wanted to have, and we went downstairs. And unlike a lot of youth lounges where grown-ups would never want to go, our <laughs> ours is actually very nice. We had a lovely meeting down there, Abby, so thank you so much for what you did for this church. And I want to tell you guys that you're almost old enough to be scouts, and it's an awesome thing, and we hope that one day we'll have you up here when it's Scout Sunday. So let's have a prayer. Gracious Lord God, we are so grateful for um, the gifts these people have given to us and to our communities, and for the gifts that we know they will continue to bring as they live their lives with these very, very wonderful values. So God, we pray that you will help us all to grow in this way, and more than anything, we give you thanks for your love and your example in Christ. Amen. Okay, if you're under